again, I'm Richard Wilkinson, I am a composer and I wrote the music for The Edge of Reality and other Doctor Who and non-Doctor Who games. Um, there are some tracks on The Edge of Reality album which people have noticed uh, don't appear in game and the titles might raise some suspicion as to what they're for and what they relate to. And the short sort of response to this is that game development is very very difficult schedules and resources and uh, stakeholders when you're doing stuff for an ip like doctor who is a big thing and there's lots of people involved the, the long and the short of it is that just some of the stuff that the team had planned just wasn't feasible to get done in time and this happens for many many games it happens for the tiny indie projects it happens for the big triple a projects you're always going to get periods where Everyone has to just stop and take stock and shrink down or slightly change the way that the game works. But because of the way the schedule worked, I'd recorded all of the music for this um, back in December 2020. Um, and some of the changes were made after that. So I'd already recorded cues based on things that happened in the script that uh, then did not happen in the script. So uh, basically there's a whole alternative ending where the player doesn't make the choice that the Doctor encourages the player to make, and things go a bit wonky, um, which is where the cue Cyber Victory comes in. So, as you might expect, that follows what will happen when the Cybermen are actually victorious. So, the Doctor is still doing her best to, to fix everything, but you get this um, dialogue where the Doctor's explaining that everything's gone a little bit mad. Dalek squadron into battle. Standing by to receive your command, Doctor! Copy that. When I say exterminate, you do what you do best. Long sorry. I've really got to go. So why don't you check in on your old friend? And I'm leaving this message now because I think something... some force is interfering with the elemental workings of the universe. And I warned you about invaders coming because... Uh, so... I think I need to go out there again. To help put things right. But I know I might not make it back this time. And because all this, all you... means I have so much more to lose than the old days. I hope you believe me when I tell you. I don't want to go. And then at the end of that uh, alternative ending, where everything goes a bit wrong, there's this bit, Gavin Collinson, the, the scriptwriter, did such a brilliant job of this. And it was, because uh, a lot of this music was written just to the script. We didn't have the game, we didn't have game play at that time, so I couldn't play through the game and time things out. I was literally just um, reading his script and trying to time things out based on that and, and get the mood and the energy and everything. He'd written this section at the end of this alternate ending where basically the, the Doctor, who's now not really living as the Doctor anymore, he's living with his, his family and uh, Madame de Pompadour, he hears a load of commotion outside and kind of has an idea of what's going on um, and, and goes out of frame uh, and basically gets killed by a Cyberman and then his horrified family run over to him and he starts to regenerate. And that's sort of the end of, of the alternate ending and that goes into the credits. that was basically underscoring what was happening with, with him in the regeneration. It's a really interesting scene to score, because if, if you're doing it for the TV series, then there's a bit more of an expectation and a bit more of a... It's bittersweet, but there's a bit of triumphant... You know, the Doctor's not dying, they're just changing. But in this one, it's an alternate reality where his family don't really know about that side of him. So there's a lot more uncertainty and there's a lot more dissonance in the music to reflect the fact that, you know, they've got no idea what's going on. So there, it's a bit magical, it's a bit scary. It's a, a lot of things going on in a short space of time. 
And there we go. So hopefully that explained a little bit about why there are some cues on the soundtrack that don't really relate to anything that currently happens in the game. I don't know whether we'll have DLC and put those scenes in or, or whether we'll explore that stuff for another day. I don't know. But yeah, for now, they're on the soundtrack. <laughs>